Hey guys, it is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and I am here today to share with you my weekly sales update. I brought my sales update back onto the weekly schedule, um, and this week I'm like, why did I do that? Because last week was amazing, and so I was super excited to share. This week, and I feel better because I hear a lot of people, I mean, it doesn't make me feel good that a lot of people haven't been getting a lot of great sales, but it makes me feel not so alone. Um, and I know I haven't been listing like I should. And so I think I know there's a uh, tinfoil hack, conspiracy theories, whatever. Um, but yeah, I, my sales have not been amazing. So I'm going to share the good, the bad, the ugly. And yeah, so eBay, Etsy, Merch, and some sales that I have made via PayPal to viewers of things from haul videos. I will share those as well. Um, anything to boost the numbers, right? Um, so hey in the chat, hi Henry and Karen, hi, long time to see, and Dr. Doodle Doo. I was just over uh, with Karen and Lindy and Yvonne on Prof Sales Channel, and we were talking about listings and keywords and things like that. <coughs> Pardon me. Hey Lydia. Okay, oh, apologies. Oh, and I drank all my water, <coughs> so I'm gonna cough. All right, so here comes my sales on, well, I would show you my sales on eBay, but there was zero, a big fat zero sales on eBay. So <laughs> let me screen share my sales on Etsy. Uh, and I've got some more friends jumping in the chat. Hi, Debbie. Hi, hi, Carol. All right, so I had three sales on Etsy, and they were really good. They were really good sales. So I sold this Barbie radio clock. And <laughs> thank you, Car, and I love you too. So yeah, I, I sold this Barbie radio clock, which actually spurred me on this morning um, to create another video because I did go live earlier today, but because I wanted to strike while I was thinking about it, strike while the iron's hot, you know. Um, the eBay, hang on, let me stop and talk to you while it, you know how eBay took out active listings and videos and things like that. Um, and I love putting eBay, I mean YouTube videos in my listings for things that move or make noise or sing or dance or whatever. Um, so when I took the listing down off of eBay when this sold, I noticed at that point, because I didn't go looking for it, I don't, have, I don't have time to go looking at my eBay listings to see if things were off, but I noticed when I took it down that the YouTube video was gone. So I thought this is the perfect opportunity for me to go and, and find out how to do it, because I'm sure by now it has been figured out. And so it had, yay. So I made a video, put it up earlier, and I pretend relisted this Barbie car and showing how to put um, the, the YouTube video into the listing again. So if you didn't get a chance to see it, go check it out. So there's that. So <laughs> that was a long-winded diatribe uh, off of that. Oh, yay. <laughs> Karen says, you're my lucky charm today. So two new shirts, same design. Yay, congratulations. Hey, Rose. Hey, Leslie. Hello, hello. Okay, if I'm missing anybody, apologies. So this car sold. I got this when I was out um, garage selling with my sister one day. I picked it up. I spent $3 on it, and it sold for $47.99. Um, and so after shipping and fees, my net profit there was $37.03. And this is going to Turkey. It's going to Turkey, y'all. Okay, then these glasses sold. Um, I am loving picking up and selling glasses. And if you don't watch uh, Becky, the dorky thrifters, she is my go-to for glasses. So she's an awesome one to check out. So these sold, um, they were Luxottica Lucy frame glasses. And the Lucy is referring to Peanuts Lucy. So there's little Lucy on the side there. So I picked these up for a dollar. They sold for $24.99. So after shipping and fees, my net profit there was $23.19. And these are children's glasses. I think they're pretty small. Um, but I go in, you know, I put kids' glasses, definitely have all the measurements, blah, blah, blah in there. So yeah, if you don't follow Becky at the Dorky Thrifters, um, her YouTube channel, she's got great info over there. Let's see. Oh, hey, Chantel's there. Did I already say hi? Maybe I did. Hey, Taryn, Clearing Clutter for Clarity, and Shelly. Hello, Dan Burst. Hello, first time live. Welcome. Okay, and then my third sale on Etsy this week is this copper um, cat trivet. So 
yes it sold um so i picked this up for a dollar and y'all it sold for nineteen dollars and 99 cents there are crazy cat people out there that will buy cat stuff so yeah after shipping and fees my net profit on this was fourteen dollars and 62 cents i made a snafu on the shipping i charged four bucks for the shipping and it ended up being heavier you know it's one of those things that you you make a mistake because you're just like, oh yeah, I've been doing this a while. I didn't know how much this thing weighs, right? Um, no, I thought it weighed less. I charged four bucks for shipping. It ended up weighing more, and I ended up putting it in a padded flat rate, not just like sticking it in, but like I bubble wrapped it and made it look nice. And because it's not going to get bent or broken, it's like it was sturdy. So sorry, this is wobbling. Um, so yeah. Um, hi Monica. Hello. Hello. Okay. So those were my sales on Etsy. I'm going to screenshot my, um, spreadsheet and <laughs> wait, wait, just, yeah, so I mean, it was only like two bucks difference, but th that's okay. You know, whatever it happens. You got to eat it. It's just part of doing business. All right. So here are my awesome three sales. Um, so $74 and 84 cents. So not too bad. Um, was my profit on Etsy. Then these are my merch sales right here. So this is July 6th through July 11th. So these are the numbers of sales. So I had 13, 13 shirts sell on that day, three, seven. So it's kind of all over the place. It dipped down, but it, it started coming back up again. And so my profit on merch for those one, two, three, four, five, six days was $340. Thank heavens for merch, right? And we were just over there and Yvonne and I were talking, and Karen were talking to Lindy. She got approved, and she hasn't put any shirts up yet. So I'm calling you out, Lindy Glenn. You need to put a shirt up. <laughs> I think Yvonne just needs to send you one. I did that to my sister. She hadn't put anything up yet, so I just signed in for her and just started putting shirts up. You know, one day I got bored. See, my sister made the – well, not a mistake, but she gave me her, her password, username and password. So sometimes I just sign in. I'm like, she didn't put up any shirts today. I'm going to put some shirts up for her. Um, so hopefully she doesn't mind, right? Okay, so let's uh, go back and then I'll show you the sales on um, from videos, right? Let's see. Um, hey, Debbie Porter. Hi, Tom. Uh, Chantel says, it makes me crazy when I make those shipping mistakes. Once I put something 99 cent auction, oh no, forgot to take away free shipping and then it went to California. Oh goodness, right? Uh, oh. It's, it happens though, right? It totally happens. Okay, so these are some sales from haul videos. Twisty earrings that, that uh, uh, Taryn, you're in the chat, and I want to apologize because I thought I shipped them and then I did it. And then they're on their way now. <laughs> so you should have gotten a message through, um, through PayPal with all of that. So apologies that it was a little late. Because you know when you get in your brain that you already did something and then it didn't really happen? And then... Yeah, <laughs> it didn't really happen. And then I saw them and I was like, wait a minute. I thought I already sent those off. No, they're still sitting there. Sorry, girl. Um, okay, so <laughs> I, they're in the mail now though. So <laughs> so um, I sold those for 10 bucks and after shipping and just like how much I fee, you know, PayPal fees, blah, blah, blah. So I estimated about $6 profit. And then um, those two telegraph keys, I don't know if you remember from my last haul video um, where I got those, you know, Morse code telegraph, beep, 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 right, little things. Um, a, a viewer, I don't like, sorry, <laughs> I called you out for that one, Taryn, but another viewer bought those. And this is one, like, normally I, I'm all for giving great deals, you know, because, you know, if I make 10 bucks off of something, I'm cool. But these, I was like, I know I can make a lot of money on these. So I did cut a deal and probably sell them for the price I would sell one of them. Um, but I was like, man, I can't, you know, I can't cut that big of a deal on these ones because, yeah, I just couldn't. Apologies. Um, I did feel bad, though. I, d I did. So these I sold for, well, I charged her 75 and then it turned out that the shipping wasn't as much as I thought it was going to be, so I sent her back 10 Um, So probably my profit would end up being about 45 bucks on that, so pretty good. Then I got that Japanese, like, two-pronged hairpin um, with, at a garage sale. I probably spent about 50 cents on it, a dollar, and uh, a viewer wanted it. So for 15 bucks, that includes the shipping price. So my profit there was about 10 bucks. 
And then the Sororovsky, which I always have trouble saying, crystal earrings. Um, these sold to a, a viewer, and I did, you know, 20 bucks because I probably would have sold them for about 40, 45 bucks. I think that's what we looked at. Um, so my profit there was about $15. So from just viewers um, getting stuff from the whole videos was $76. So my profit for the week, which is still really good, $491.39. So it is very good if you haven't uh, done a little diversifying, try to find a few different ways. I mean, like I, I do some affiliate market, affiliate, affiliate marketing, not exactly, affiliate links. I mean, it, it varies so and so every, like week or every month it's different so like i did i tried the ep epn is that what it's called like it's an ebay partner network i think i got one payout from them for like 29 dollars or something one time but i mean that my thing is every little bit helps right so that's 29 bucks that i can take to the grocery store and buy eggs and bread and milk and maybe a banana you know so i every every dime counts you know in my book so if you're just starting merch, like when I first started that first sale, you know, back January, 2016, my first $7, I was ecstatic. I was like, whoa, I can go to Subway. Yes. You know, so it's just, you've got to try to look at it like that's a, that's some eggs, right? Two or three bucks. I can get a carton of eggs. Four bucks. That's my milk, right? <laughs> oh, Taryn says, let's just shop on each other's Amazon affiliate links. Yeah. And you know, I have a friend who one, one um, December, I'm not going to mention his name, but he, he did really well with his affiliate. I've never done anything close to this, but he was like $400. So if you know how to do it, which apparently I'm not, I'm just sort of a throw them out there. Um, that's what I do. Oh, look, my friend Caroline's there. Hey, Caroline. Um, and apologies if I missed anybody else. Maurice and Nini. Hope things are well, Caroline. Hello, hello. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you got to be every little bit, right? Every little bit. When I sell something on Virage Sale, like we have a, a local garage sale site called Virage, you probably have it, um, Virage Sale. And, um, you know, it, I was trying to clear out some stock that I was like, oh, maybe I'm not going to list here. Like I got all these, don't try to buy them now. Okay. These are, these are already sold. So like all of these that I picked up forever on clearance, I sent them into Amazon. And then they got, you know, they were in my sent back. Well, you know, I'm probably, I'm selling the whole lot of these, they're frozen bubbles for 10 bucks to a lady on garage sale. I got these, nobody's biting on them, <laughs> but I'm trying to sell them on garage sale, right? So yeah, even if it's like, oh, there's some books I was going to redonate, I can get a buck for them. I don't know. On garage sale. That's easy peasy, right? Um, <laughs> do I put all the items on different platforms. I do cross post on eBay and Etsy if I can. Oh, apologies. Hang on. Let me move this down over here. He was falling on my thing. Okay. So that's it, right? Um, oh, cool, cool. I watch you a lot here. Oh, thanks, Marie. Welcome, welcome. Um, all right. So thanks so much, you guys. Leave me a comment down below and let me know how your sales are going, if yours are going as slowly as mine. And also, if you are diversified and trying to get some incomes from different areas even if it's 20 bucks here 100 bucks there it all rolls together into this pile of <laughs> grocery money anyway so uh yeah go over there and hit that thumbs up guys and i'll see you all later bye everybody